We don't want to stop this lifestyle anytime soon, but we do want to do something new. We did it. We committed. What the fuck? What is happening? Discovering your first ice. But today is actually the first official day of fall. And what better way for it to be the first official day of fall for a random snowstorm. We are from California. This is something that is so crazy and so foreign to us. The idea of snow in September is crazy. Look at this. It's like a winter wonderland. This is crazy. Thank you, mom and dad, for the care you put into our lives and the nutrition. Hey! You put hey! You want a coffee? Can you turn on the inverter? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Sam and me, my wife Kelly, and our now two dogs, Sunny and Roxy, live and travel full time in our 2003 Bluebird school bus. We are currently in, wait, hold on. Roxy. Oh, she's again. Good girl. We're currently staying in the highest elevation city in the entire country, Leadville, Colorado. We are currently over 10,000 feet in elevation. We grew up on the West Coast around basically zero to 800 feet of elevation. So this is quite the drastic change. And Colorado is one of our favorite states, especially to live in a rig. So we are so grateful and stoked to be here. And we wanted to try something a little new today. We just kind of wanted to take you along for a relatively cozy day in the bus. Maybe start a fire, we're having some coffee and we'll see what else we get up to. This is going to be a little bit of a slower pace style vlog, <laughs> other than Roxy jumping on us. It will be hopefully a little bit slower pace. So grab a coffee, relax, whatever time of day you're watching this, and let's have a good time. Grab it on top, grab it. <laughs> I'm about to say Kelly, I'm telling them to grab a coffee. And I said crappy. <laughs> crappy. I'm the crappy wow. one, let's be That's real. Careful. Hey, settle. Oh my goodness. You guys are nut cases. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Freezing. So cold. Well, good morning or good afternoon or good night whenever you're watching this. It's a very cozy Sunday in our bus. It was so wild last night. We felt it raining, but it sounded different than rain. This is coming from Southern California kids. And we went outside and saw the snowfall and it was so magical because it's literally end of summer, early fall. So it's kind of crazy to be experiencing this right now because back home in Southern California, it's a beautiful 75 degree day. But even though I'm like kind of shivering right now, it's actually really magical because all year, basically of 2024, we've been blessed to be in the sunshine. We've been in Baja, then we went through a heat wave through the PNW all summer. It's just been very, very, very hot in the bus and we haven't experienced much of a transition of any season because it's been all summery vibes all year basically. Not complaining at all, it's been pretty awesome, but one of my goals with our fall road trip is I wanted to go somewhere that was colder because I wanted to be able to experience that in the bus again because we got to do that last year and I was worried that with all the changes coming up that we'll explain later that we wouldn't be able to experience that anytime soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually freezing. I'm literally like clutching my chest because I'm so cold. Our heater is on in the bedroom, but gonna be honest, it doesn't fully push through to this area of the bus, but luckily we have 
our fireplace behind me that we're gonna get started soon. But I'm super excited to share with you some of our plans coming up that are not gonna involve the bus and some things we've been researching and doing behind the scenes. I'm super, super excited. And if you're a Patreon member, you probably already know what we're gonna say. I've also been recently really getting into making different recipes. You know, I'm in my baking era, my sourdough era, which I think I accidentally killed my sourdough starter because I didn't feed it for like a month. I'm so sad about that because I was doing it for months and I was obsessed with it, but I need to figure that out. But I'm gonna show you one of the recipes that I've been really into lately. And I'm partially doing it because I want the oven to warm us up. Okay, check out these homemade fire starters that Sam and his dad made. His dad is a literal MacGyver genius with these things. MacGyver. And he, and he especially loves things that are inexpensive if he can do them himself. So they basically got these makeup wipes, you know, those cotton makeup wipes from the dollar store. And then they got a dollar store wax candle and they melted that down with lighter fluid and dipped these makeup wipes in the solution and now it's a super inexpensive way that we can just throw these in the fire and we have like 30 of these i mean i think we've gone through some by now such a cool like little unique hack and anyone can do it sometimes fire starters can be like weirdly kind of pricey so kind of a cool hack if you ever want to try this This morning I'm making a new recipe that we've been loving. It's a no boil protein bagel recipe and it only has like four ingredients. They're so easy and so delicious and you can customize the toppings however you'd like. We've been batching them and having them throughout the week. Just a little reminder, if you got a wood fire soap, don't put anything on top. Oopsie. We've done this before. Remember those fire starters we were just talking about? They're still okay. Okay, wait, I just realized we don't have any eggs for the egg wash. You wanna go to the store? I'm back with the um, eggs, and Roxy just ate the entire bagel. bagel. She literally can't, oh, look, she's trying to do it again. No, I like protein bagels. Good job, yummy, so yummy. Wait, wait, so I am nothing like those super manly men who chop wood on TikTok and just be like, oh yeah, Whew! But I've got my little baby ax and uh, my dad used his tools to sharpen it. So hopefully we'll be able to cut the wood for our tiny fireplace. It's one o'clock and all the snow is completely gone. There's literally no evidence that there was any snow. So I'm glad that we got to at least see it this morning. All righty. Right, maybe this will actually make a big difference. 10 minutes on one piece. You can't say you're not putting your full effort in. This is when I wish I had my dad's, um, I have a saw, I think. All right, I got two more options. Axe number two and a literal saw. I give up. Woo, it is hot. Sorry for the nip slip. I just spent 20 minutes and I didn't even get one of them. So I hope you all enjoyed that suffering right there. Also, maybe it's because I just did a lot of effort 
and maybe because we had the wood fire stove and the heater, but it's toasty in here. Sun's come out. This is so crazy. No snow at all. And the dogs are free range chickens. I feel like I could wear shorts and a t shirt now. This is crazy. Yeah, this is so nice. It's crazy how drastic the weather changes hour to hour here. What? Oh! It is campsites like these that it's kind of what you envision when you are building your rig or dreaming of life on the road. Just in the forest, no one around, free camping. Your dogs can just be free range chickens all around. This does not happen very often. So the fact that we are able to experience this type of camping is something that we don't take for granted. Don't take for granted. We don't take for Marvel. Oh my god, it's really hot. I wish I had a t-shirt under this. Okay, you're so no, drama. No. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's not that hot. I'm thinking it's pretty warm. Kelly, it's because I'm wearing my uh Mayor Melly. No, the Melly's nice and everything. It's these Amazon thermal pants. They're fleece sweatpants. And he's an airy, so that's why he's running hot. Yes. And she's a Capricorn why she always runs cold. Go. Got a question for you. This is just a live Q&A. How are you feeling about life on the road? We've been on the road for about three and a half years. Mm -hmm. So um, how do you feel? Do you feel different than day one? I definitely feel less anxious than I was in the beginning because everything was just so new. I feel much more comfortable. And it's kind of crazy having done this for three years because it just feels so normal, you know? I will say that I'm still loving it, but I would like to have a home base for sometimes, you know, that isn't our parents' house. And I do think, not to turn it away from myself, I do think Sam feels differently than I do. What do you mean? <laughs> I feel like you are not as enchanted as I am with this life. I'm starting to get a little burnt out, to be totally honest. This is all coming from, like, I'm extremely grateful. We're so privileged and just ultimately we feel so happy to be able to live this life for three years now. For example, literally, I think it was two nights ago, I'll put a picture on screen right here. We literally paid a lot of money to get this really awesome heater for the back of the bus. Because if you guys remember last year, we were traveling through the snow and there was literally no heat source other than our wood fire stove. And it was miserable going in the winter so we tried to prepare better this time around and then two nights ago right before we were about to go to bed we tried turning on our heater and it just was not working i kept having this error flash code so i went to the back to check it out and actually see if there's something wrong with the unit and literally it fell off it just completely fell off the heater was like mounted to this box that we made completely on the ground and we had no heater for a night i was terrified it was not going to work it was very stressful it was freezing outside in the pitch black and i was doing my best to try and fix it Anyways, pause to grab our dog. <laughs> I figured out the situation and I got it remounted the next morning. But it's just things like this happen pretty much every single week that you're living on the road. Even things that you professionally install will just stop working and break. And it's honestly very stressful a lot of the time. I feel like I've gained a lot of gray hairs from living on the road. I definitely feel a lot of responsibility to make sure everything in the bus is working properly and functioning so we can just have like a regular life on the road. And ultimately, I definitely feel like it weighs down on me a little bit more than I would like it to. I wish I had a more chill personality to just like if things break it's like whatever but when things break it really stresses me out and i know that it's like that everywhere whether you have a house or whether you're on the road but when you're on the road you're kind of on your own most of the time and i don't know i'd be really down to maybe do some type of part-time thing but i'm not sure how realistic that is if you look closely on the top of that mountain is snow oh my god roxy look, Ew. look. don't chew on that roxy is that a mountain lion bone that's foul but that's kind of scary yeah we should probably leash him up Last time we were here, we were parked like deeper in the woods away from anyone. We kind of are right now, but people have been passing us. And it's when we had our van and Sam saw what he described as the biggest looking dog I've ever seen roaming not too far from our campsite. I just realized my wedding ring is somewhere on the counter. And he described it as like kind of stalking around and oh, <laughs> oh it's honey. Sonny's protecting. Oh, Sonny, you're such a good boy. Anyways, long story short, we realized it was a mountain lion slash cougar and after that we found a ton of bones scattered around when we've been on our long walks and definitely kind of spooky one thing i learned about mountain lions when we posted about it last year was that a lot of times they'll stalk their prey in trees you know kind of like cats <laughs> and they can like jump down quite terrifying pretty much the nature of being outside in nature is you might run into bears mountain lions we're yeah we're in their home what was she doing she was eating the bagels uh, that's what i thought mm -hmm. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Killed that shit, Cal. 
with the chickpea salad on top. Can't wait. And it got really hot, so don't judge. Probably my least favorite thing. Actually, that's being dramatic. I don't really mind it that much. I don't love it, but it could be a lot worse. Actually, I take it back. I really hate doing dishes. I love doing dishes when there's a dishwasher. There's actually nothing better because everything's clean. It doesn't take that much time. It's the best. Without a dishwasher though, another story. So this section right here has always been a big problem in the bus. When we were living in our Sprinter van that we built out ourselves, the thing that was really great about that, even though we definitely have a lot more storage and overall room to live in this bus, is that because it had like a front seat and we had curtains, we would always be able to like put things in the front seat and use a curtain to like just block things off. And it would always be like where like a lot of our jackets that we use all the time, maybe Sunny's toy box and stuff. And we don't really have a place like that in the bus. Everything's just open, which we love, but also sucks because look, we have my toolbox right here, which I'm gonna have to put underneath where Roxy's sleeping. We've got his food bowl, which doesn't have a home. We've got their toys that now just lives on the front dash. One, two, three different jackets. We have a backpack. We have a little fanny pack. We've got some arrows for the archery and they don't have a home. If we were in a van or in like a rig that had a front seat that you can kind of close off from the whole space, we wouldn't even think twice. It would be not a big deal. <sighs> All right, one jacket, two jackets, three, four jackets, five jackets, six jackets. That's ridiculous. We have Kelly's yoga mat. This usually lives in her car. So maybe we can put that back in her car. This is just an empty box. That's trash. This is also trash. This is also not needed to be out here. This is also trash. Uh, I guess I'll just show you in a few minutes if I actually figure out a home for these places. Oh, wait, hold on, same shot, hold on. <laughs> Look, are you kidding me? Dead bullseye. Damn! The reason why I'm so shocked is because <laughs> Sam and I have been practicing archery over this summer. We haven't shown it, I guess, on anywhere, but we have been doing a little bit of archery this summer on our friend's set. And his was a lefty bow and I'm a lefty, so I felt like I was doing so good on the lefty bow. But when we got this righty bow, I couldn't do it. I'd be at the beginning. It was so hard for my brain to comprehend doing it on the other side. So that was really exciting. Okay. You get humbled quick with archery. Yeah. So we got four casualties. Wow. Look at the sunset. This is crazy. It was snowing this morning. Kelly, the sunset is crazy right now. Whee! Get tight. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Crazy that it was snowing earlier. If you didn't know, Kelly and I actually lived in Melbourne, Australia for a year. And when we moved there, what they said is in Melbourne, you experience four seasons in one day. Look at that. It was pouring rain this morning and look at that sun. Look at that sun, Kelly. Look at that sun. Look at that sun. Yeah, and now it's cold and windy. And that was very true. It would be sunny, rainy, freezing, and hot all within the same day. That's essentially what we experienced today. Snow, a little bit of rain, beautiful sunshine, and honestly pretty hot weather. Chilly, and now this beautiful sunset. Why go to Australia when you can just go to Leadville, Colorado? It's a lot closer for the Americans. Looks like I'm wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is normal, but we kind of vacuum out our ash. I don't know if there's a better way. I'm sure there's a better way. Let us know if there's a better way to get rid of the ash. I can't think of any better way. Oh my God, it's ashing in there. Oh my God. All right, let's start a fire. We don't have that much wood left because I wasn't able to cut that wood outside. <laughs> you can't say you didn't try your darndest stuff. I, I really tried my hardest. We won't be able to have that long of a fire, but we will have a fire. Our burned bottom. Whoa. For this wood right here is that expensive wood that we ordered. It has a scent to it. And the whole point of this is that this is like super quick. Like it lights really, really fast. It burns quick, but it's something that you want to do at like the Does beginning. Does it have lighter fluid on it? Is that why? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'd like to tell you why. We'll check back later. Slightly burnt, but still smells good. Have you guys ever heard of this? This is supposedly French style green beans. I think they just look like green beans. I've never thought of them as French style. I won't lie, since I burned it, it is very smoky in here, so I think I have to open up a window. They unfollowed, she unfollowed them first, but like to make it this weird thing at Macy's event was- But I'm like, low-key, like this show was crazy. Partially low-key, by the way, her teacher was so cute. I mean, they're all pretty, but like got a lot of them. Hello. 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 We're about to get kicked out of this campsite. First time in three and a half years. <laughs> I was hoping we could see her all day. I should just go out. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Say there is. You said I'm absolutely just eating shit. <laughs> Sam is so good in these situations. I get so nervous, but he's like so friendly and just knows how to talk to these people. And this woman seems really nice, actually. First time ever getting kicked out of a spot, but in the most chill, nicest way possible. She said we don't do it till like four or 5 p.m. tonight. That was a really friendly, sweet interaction. Oh my God, and she was so stoked on the punch. She's like, don't worry, I won't take you. Aw, <laughs> well yeah. she better not. I no. didn't even know that was on the table. Neither did I. <laughs> Okay, to explain what just happened with getting kicked out of our spot. Basically, this area that we're camping in is this free area in Leadville. It's really, really beautiful. It's hundreds of miles of free camping. Honestly, I'm not sure about the hundreds. It's something. And I guess they're doing like a big restoration project on the area. So they need to kick out the current campers in order to do that project. So we didn't do anything wrong by being here. And they did have signs around that said that today was the last day. So we knew we were gonna eventually have to leave. But then someone else that worked for the city had told us that don't worry about it they might not even come for a couple of days so not really a big deal and I still am going to consider that we've never been kicked out of anywhere we've camped in three and a half years which is kind of crazy I feel like almost everyone we know that has lived on the road has been kicked out of somewhere so I think it's been a mix of luck and just also not camping in risky areas for the most part. But why I really brought you here into the bedroom is to share that this morning we are going to book part one of our big adventure in 2025. I'm sure you've noticed that we've been sharing recently that we have been wanting to do something new. We've just been wanting to shake it up a little bit because as I've said, we've been doing this for three and a half years, which is crazy. We didn't know if we would even like this for one year after building the van. So it's so incredible to know that we've done this for three and a half years and have had such incredible memories. And we don't 
don't want to stop this lifestyle anytime soon, but we do want to do something new. We're going to share the exact details of everything probably in a couple months from now, but we will share everything in real time on Patreon, but we're just not ready to share all the details yet to everyone just because we're trying to figure it out for ourselves and it's something that we're really excited about and something that's very special to us and is going to change our lives. I don't know, we're just going to keep it a little bit more personal for the next couple of months, but we did want to share that we are going to do something different for 2025 and it's not going to involve the bus, which I think is going to be a great break for us. Sam's been definitely wanting it and I've been definitely wanting to have a bit more stability let's say we just feel like there's no time better than right now in our lives when we have this much freedom and we're able to work on the road and really able to make these big decisions without being weighed down by you know different responsibilities that now is the time to jump on these opportunities but we just thought it would be cool to share with you a little bit along the way so that it's not a total surprise when we give you this information in a couple of months and sam and i are the kind of couple that is constantly thinking about the future and constantly thinking about new things that we can do so i'm really excited about 2025 which is only like three-ish months away so let's go book part one of our adventure i feel like we should book first because we know like that's 100 percent for sure you think we should do that before i think we gotta just do this yay this is so exciting yes we fucking committed we, we committed. committed we committed what the fuck what is happening